Kyle Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, Nick shared with us earlier that uh, he talked to you before the game, and uh, there was a sign on the board that said, let it rip. Um, tell me what that meant to you and how you think you let it rip tonight compared to how you played the first two. Um, I think that was a, more of a, a message for the team. Um, we shot 38 threes a night. And, um, you know, we got up a lot, a lot of threes, a lot of attempts, and um, just played play basketball. For me, it was just coming out being aggressive and, um, you, know, not, not, you know, not so being passive and trying to get everybody else involved and more so get myself going and, um, you know, I'd let everybody else feed off of that. Kyle, Michael Grange from uh, Sportsnet. I mean, when you found out that Clay wasn't playing, did, did it really feel like this was an opportunity you guys had to try and take advantage of tonight? Was there that added urgency? Obviously, you want to win every game, but. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you lose a, a, an all NBA type basketball player in Clay and an all star, um, it definitely, you know, it changes their team. But, I mean, Steph had an unbelievable game. You know, 47 points is, is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Um, but you know we just went out there and did our job, and you know I think we, we held them under forty percent shooting. Um, you know we played well, we finished the game, and we found a way to win a basketball game. Standing all the way in the back, Kyle Johnson, Joe with Dia TV. You had a pretty big breakout game this third game, and the entire team of starters scored in double digits. What did you do to approach this game differently to really help this balance attack? Uh, kept the pace up. Kept, kept, you know, kept our pace up and kept going and, um, you know, trying to get the ball out quick and getting stops and communication and, and just kept playing. Um, you know, we know that they're possible. They always can make runs in this building, but, you know, we stayed level-headed. Um, just continue to kind of, you know, just keep going and going and going and staying in the moment. Janie, all the way in the back. Hi, Kyle. Janie McCauley from AP. Um, how was it you guys were able to to find an answer every time they hit a big shot or Steph got a big shot? Um, somebody came up with a play, and also I did see the fan shove you on the sideline on the um, court side there. And how disappointing was that moment um, for you? For, for us, we just you know we we know that they're going to make good runs and make shots, but um, we watched uh, that third quarter. You know, game two, and we just gotta continue to play with pace, and and that was the one thing about it. We played with pace half court, full court, and, and that was a, a big thing for us. And um, as for that fan, there's no place in it for that. You know, he had no reason to touch me. He had no reason to reach over two seats and then say some vulgar language to me. There's no place for people like that in our in our league. And um, you know, hopefully, he never goes comes back to an NBA game. Go ahead on the right side. Anthony Snyder with The Athletic. Uh, you, it sounds like Kevin Durant's pretty close, and Clay Thompson may also come back in game four. How much over the next two days will, will you have to monitor that and almost, you know, I guess, I guess scheme for two different teams? Uh, we just got to prepare the same way. You know, we're, um, we're a real defensive-minded team. Um, you know, we know they got those type of those, those weapons, um, but we got to just prepare ourselves to be focused on ourselves, and that's the one thing we've always done, and it's kind of continue to work on ourselves and work on what we can do. Um, you know, we can't control anything else. You know, what the Warriors do, we just got to go out there and do what we can do to get better, um, continue to grow, um, and see what we can make adjustments on. Tim, standing in the back left. Kyle, Tim Reynolds with the AP. The finals is obviously, you know, it, it, it was a new frontier for a lot of you guys before game one. And Nick, what he's gone through this year and the circumstances and replacing Dwayne and all that stuff's all been well covered. But how, how much has he impressed you at this time of year with – I mean, he looks like a guy who's done this a whole bunch of times instead of <laughs> never before. Uh, he got a lot of championships, you know, in, in England and his G League. And, I mean, Nick, I know he looks young, but he's pretty old. Um, <laughs> uh, but he's been doing this a long time, man. And uh, his demeanor, like I've said this before, he literally has yelled at us like twice this whole season. And his demeanor is just kind of, you know, just, you know, keep going and keep going and figure it out and, you know, all right, this is what we can do. This is what's happening. And he, his mind for the game has been uh, special. And, you know, the growth throughout the year has been um, pretty good for him. Um, you know, it's, he's not a first-time head coach. He's a first-time NBA head coach. But the experience that he's had, you know, in, in his, his many um, leagues and teams that he's been a head coach before, he's kind of just kind of, you know, stepped up and continued to grow with that. Eric in the center. Thank you. Uh, Eric Pingus, Basketball Insiders, Bleach Report. Kyle, the, the past – years your team has kind of hit a brick wall in the playoffs and obviously you've broken through can you uh, share how the team has grown together 
to fight through. I mean, even down the, end, the stretch of this game, this team didn't quit. How have you guys grown to, cha- to meet those challenges? Um, <clears throat> I think we just added a, you know, a couple great pieces, you know, uh, adding Kawhi and Mark and, and Danny with their professionalism. Um, I think, you know, their, their championship, well, Danny's and Kawhi's championship pedigree. Nick's, you know, coming in as a coach that's, you know, won a few championships in G League. And we, we got Patrick McCall, who's got a ch- couple championships. We got a bunch of guys who are, you know, professionals. And we got a good veteran group. And we all kind of just, you know, understand that this is, you know, it's our job. And um, never get too up, never get too down. Um, you know, teams are going to, you know, make runs, and you're going to not win every game. You're not going to lose every game, but you can continue to grow, um, you know, to the point to play, you know, to until June. And that was always the goal with this team was to get to June. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you.